Now that you've gone through and created your own anatomically correct cryptozoology animal, now I want you to go back through taking those schematics of your anatomy drawings and use some wire that I've provided to create a 3D representation of your animal. You're actually going to create two different sculptures when everything is said and done. The first sculpture will be a 2D sculpture. You'll use the wire just like you would the line of a pencil and you'll use it to create your animal from head to toe. Just kind of think about it like an outline. You can see an example here. Then, when you're done with that, I want you to go through and create a 3D representational uh, sculpture of your animal. You, to do this, use a coiling method or any other method that feels comfortable. Here are some examples of that 3D method to give you an idea of what I'm thinking of. When everything's said and done, you'll turn both of these sculptures in, along with your drawing, along with a painting of your animal.